Hey, and welcome back to another Animal Crossing tutorial. Uh, today I am going to show you how to take angled pictures in Animal Crossing. This was shown to me by my friend Yuki, and she found it through Everstar Island, also known as Maple on Twitter. So I'll post the links to their Twitters down below, but let's, uh, let's take some angled pictures. So the first thing you want to do is pick up your mailbox. So in order to pick up your mailbox, you have to have the side rooms of your house unlocked, otherwise it won't allow you to pick them up. But, you just scoop it up like that by pressing Y and finding a nice cozy spot to take a picture. Okay, so I think this spot will be really good. It's the little cafe in town near Raymond and Marshall's house. So I want to make sure I get this part in. The way it's going to work is it's going to take it from the left-ish, like towards southwest, that's that's where it'll start angling it from. So we're gonna go head over here, and we're just going to stand, probably right about here is fine, and we are gonna drop our mailbox. So we'll place it right here. And then what you wanna do is, as you're opening your mailbox, it'll start angling it, and before your letters start showing, that's when you can take a picture with the screenshot button on your controller, like that. And so, what comes out of that is this really nice angled photograph right here. And so, don't worry about if your character is in the shot. I think we can take a few more as an example and then we'll show you what they look like afterward. So here's another part of my town that I'd really like to showcase. It's like a little kind of cozy library. So I'm gonna go right up top. So Maple had said that standing on a cliff usually works better as well in her tweet. So we're gonna place it right up here. And we're going to try taking another screenshot like this. So that's actually a really nice angle, and I think it'll look really, really good like that. So when we cut out my character, it'll just be seen down below. So let's now find another spot. So I'm going to try to see if I can showcase the campsite. I haven't actually tried this spot yet. So we'll make some room so I can put down the mailbox. So let's try this. That's a nice spot too. It has like the bamboo in it as well. And we'll pick our flowers and pick some. And then I have one other spot that I want to head over to and we'll we'll call it a day. That's not too bad. Let's see what it looks like. That's kind of cool, actually. It's a little bit different. This one's actually quite nice, too. And it'll take a few times for you to get the angle that you like. There we go. I think that one will be perfect. Now what we want to do is hit edit and posting. So we're going to hit A, and we'll post a batch. That'll let us post more than one at once. And we'll take all of our pictures that we really liked that were at that angle here. So go down to the bottom right, hit post. I'm going to put it on my spam Twitter account, and post to Twitter. So the nice thing about this is that you can do it on Facebook as well, but it'll be posted on Twitter so you can end up downloading the pictures to crop it. You could probably also take out the SD card if you had one, but I just think this is a little bit easier. Okay, now that we've downloaded our images, all we have to do now is just open them up. And you can do this in pretty much any editor. If you have Photoshop or if you just use the standard one, that's totally fine too. And we're going to hit this crop button and we are just going to crop my character out of here. Cropping is definitely the most efficient way to change the composition of a photograph. So we'll do that and hit save a copy. And now we have this nice picture of the scene without my character in it. And you can post that on your actual account or, you know, edit it in Photoshop. The other thing you can do is if you wanted to change like the color a bit in here, you can always go in and crop out the character. Ooh. There we go. So we cropped out another one. So if we wanted to change the color in here, you could always do some edits as well after the fact. So you can boost the saturation, maybe also change the contrast to be really high if you wanted to make it really pop out. You know, just, just use stuff. You can always uh, change the RGB colors if you wanted it to be a little bit more scenic for for the time, how warm it is outside. So if it's colder, you can bring up the blue, and if it's warmer, you can bring down the blue. And there we go. 
Okay, so now that I've edited all the pictures the way I wanted them, here's a before and after. So here's the after versus before. So you can kind of see what kind of changes you can make just to change the mood. Like that. This one as well. I think this one might be my favorite. And here as well. It's interesting that it makes such a big difference, but it looks really good. So I hope you found that helpful and I will see you guys on the next video, but I hope you had fun and I can't wait to see your pictures. If you do take any pictures, feel free to tag me on Twitter. I would love to see them. So have a good day, everyone. Bye.